I was trying not to be seen on the dance floor, just from the exterior eyes, like, that guy's popping one, like, that guy's weird, like, that guy's popping a bone, so I kind of, like, try to, like, flip tuck and shimmy back a bit. It's black hoodie, I'm back cooking these goodies, look at these views from cooking these foods, yeah. Fuck with me. Yo, eat good, live well, stay true. What is going on, you guys? Back with another one, a little mukbang story time. It's been a little minute since we've actually done something of this quality style, you know what I mean? So I'm pretty excited to get back into it and tell you guys a, a hookup story time. Uh, I re put up a little poll on my community feed or whatever, putting like four story choices and the most voted for one was actually a hookup story time but I did the anxiety one first just had to happen um, but today we have some Chinese food uh, I'm gonna pop the top on all this and talk some shop to you guys about uh, this hookup story time and just like <laughs> the sort of like embarrassing nature of it like uh, yeah it just it kind of went not my way, but at the same time my way, and also uh, just a really funny sort of like Seinfeldish event occurred during it, and uh, I thought I was going to be like severely embarrassed uh, forever, but I'm, I was able to to reel it in and and get myself you know unscathed. I was able to escape unscathed. So uh, let's pop into this Chinese food, and uh, and then I'll tell you the the tale of getting some tail. All right, so uh, yeah, I got some Chinese food. Obviously got my choppers here. Can't wait to get in with those. I've been honing up my skills. I think I'm feeling, feeling pretty solid these days. What is behind lid number one? Ooh, that's a, that right there, ladies and gents, is actually the crispy beef. So it's done in a Szechuan style. And uh, I actually brought out the cherry sauce for this one. Uh, this one then obviously is going to be the lemon chicken so let me see what we're working with here boom 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 I want you in my room on some Venga boy shit looking pretty good a little bit of breading blah 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 blah, blah. here's the sauce for it lemon sauce mm-hmm look at that just gelatinous delicious flavor and then of course gotta get some veg up in your system hopefully there's not too much like weird sauce it's gonna pour out oh yep yeah, yep yeah, yeah it did there you go losing flavor okay not great but whatever all right so i'm very excited to eat this i'm starving i uh have not eaten in like 16 hours probably so yeah let's get to her i'm gonna have a bite of everything as per usual okay a little dipski there you go no 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 yes please Thank you. Thank you, ma'am. I like how they give you a good amount of the sauce. Let's try beef. Let's try beef. Straight up, Szechuan ginger. Mm hmm very nice of course back here we just got some veg a little bok choy if I'm being true to myself I feel like we need to hit it with just a little soy just to salt or salty it up And uh, Bob's your uncle. Wham, bam. Mm, thank you, ma'am. Okay. 
let's talk about this hookup story time you know I'll tell it and stuff you know I never get too graphic so don't worry like I'm not gonna tell you about like penetration and stuff you know but anyways back at the restaurant that I worked at maybe four years ago possibly five where I met my girl or my ex-girlfriend I should say the one that you've all seen on this channel as some of you may already know when I was working there uh, it was predominantly I was a server and it was predominantly uh, females being servers and bartenders and such and there was only two male servers that worked there me and another guy and you know I'm young I'm in my 20s and I'm trying to get it in like what else are you doing in your 20s like you're you know pretty lost and don't really know what you're doing with your life you're just trying to make money and survive and hook up with some people and drink and stuff at least that's what I did um, it's given me a lot of good life experience um, maybe you're smarter than that and maybe you maybe you buckle down and save money and buy a condo I don't know it's up to you life is what you make it so anyways for lack of a better term him and I had essentially like pick a litter of like any new hires or any girls that worked there like there wasn't much dude competition it was pretty small staff but you know the girl to guy ratio was heavily in our favor So him and I like basically hashed out this rule where we're like, you know, if you're feeling someone, let me know, I'll back off, vice versa, or just let me know if like you're not into, her, if I'm into her kind of thing, blah, 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 blah. We had a bro code, essentially, for work hookups. And so... Things were going fine in that department. We had our bro code. All worked out. Everything was solid. Uh, then one day, there's this new hire that came on. And she was very young, 21. She was just looking for a summer job. She was eventually going back to school, but, you know, was trying to work for the summer, make some money, blah, 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 have fun. And she was quite sexy. Nice body, well set in the chest, had a, uh, a light Latin heritage to her. She was like a very, like, had a little Penelope Cruz vibe going on, if I might say so myself. And uh, she was very outgoing, very talk talkative, funny. This, that, and the other. So, you know, working together for like a week or so. We both had shifts with her. And, uh, I can tell between us, her and I, there's a vibe. We're cracking jokes. Everything's good between us. We've we've exchanged numbers. Having a couple texts here and there. And um, 
at some point she told me that in her university that she was studying at, she was like the local like writer for their like sex column or whatever, like navigating college sex and like finding your inner sex prowess and all this stuff. So I was like, okay, this girl's clearly DTF because she's like into the vibe of sex, like period. So I'm like, in my head, I'm like, okay, cool. Things are vibing between us. The next time that we have a day off, I'm definitely hitting her up to like go out for drinks and just like whatever, hang out because she was just staying in Toronto for the summer. She was like from Ottawa. So she didn't really like know what was popping or whatever around and I was like, you know, I got a few years on you. I've been here for a little while. Let me show, let me show you something, girl. I didn't say it like that to her at all, but you know what I mean. I asked her to like hang out with me on a Friday. So it was like a nice summer Friday night. I was stoked. My whole intention was like, yes, I'm gonna hook up with this chick. Like she's hot. I can't wait. Blah 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 blah. I'm like, meet me. There's this other bar near where we worked. In my head, I'm like, we'll go start at that. And then once we're a bit faded, time has passed. Uh, there's this other place that's like a block away. That's really cool because it's like a brewery. And then the downstairs, like you eat. And then there's like a mid floor where it's like dance party put to like some trap shit, like some turn up trap shit. So it's got like that, that younger vibe. And then there's like a third floor. That's like a rooftop patio. And like, there's like a beer garden kind of thing and picnic tables and shit like that. So in my head, I'm like, I'll take her, take her there after. Right. Kind of show her like a doper spot. So we meet up and, uh, we go to the first place, having some drinks, and the vibe is good. The vibe is exactly how I thought it would be. It's funny. We're laughing. Getting a little more tipsy. Uh, the night is going on into like a dark, you know, the sun's dropped now. So when the sun drops, shit's getting a little more real. Time to move to the next spot. So we make the jump over to the next spot. Chillin' vibe in there. Mm. Everything's good. We end up um, both getting quite drunk, as per our intentions. And, uh, Carrot. So we're on the dance floor. I can cut rug pretty good, so. Mm -mm. We start dancing and shit. So at this point, we haven't been like too like physically 
like too much contact but it's like that's what you dance for is like that's like you your little move into there to get physical with a girl so i'm playing it like a little a little distant at first just showing her like you know i got some moves and shit and then you know kind of take control like kind of turn her into me and like get like the grind going so she is now receiving the grind the ship has landed in the dock we're locked in you know it's a drake ting or whatever hotline bling or some shit like that and uh <laughs> this is where it gets questionable for me because i found this girl so sexy that I couldn't contain myself. You know that song, Step Back, You're Dancing Kind of Close. I feel a little poke coming through on you. So I had a little poke coming through from me, um, especially bad because it was summertime, and the summertime in Toronto is very, very humid it's kind of like a Miami Florida thing it's like very very musty and hot and just you need a little flow uh, in your pant area so this evening in particular I had like these really thin olive green like like khaki chino like summer pants on so not much material separating uh me from her and also i was going commando because summertime ride like just too hot to really rock a pair of, a pair of wear under there so i uh you know i pop one can't help it i pop one and it's in like full pursuit of her ass and uh, at this point there's no hiding it like I know she could feel it it's there so that's an indication of like my attraction to her um, so at this point she knows <laughs> definitely what's up so it was like I was trying not to be seen on the dance floor just from the exterior eyes like that guy's popping one like that guy's weird like that guy's popping a bone so i kind of like try to like flip tuck and shimmy back a bit and um in that moment i decided it was just full go time like now i'm, I'm caught like i'm out like this is what's happening right she now knows that she has this sexual power over me so I basically just spin her around and just brought her in and just started making out with her. Well received, she's into it. So now we're making out. And now we're just in the club. Many Drake songs, living out our best life, you know? It's like this. You know? A lot of tongue. So... We just keep partying. Eventually, we both get so, like, worked up, I think, that we dipped a little early. We pulled, like, the 1 o'clock, like, you know, pull the trigger at the 1 o'clock and just, like, get back to where we can start hooking up. So... I lived pretty far at this point in time from where we were at and where she was staying was closer but she was like in this like house with roommates and just had like a room like a small room or whatever so she's like but yeah let's go back to my place so go back to her place get in a room and she's got like The most single bed of single beds I've ever seen. Like the singlest bed you could have. 
just like old like almost child size like just like rusty like just got the like the bed springs and just can barely fit a human body very not good hookup conditions but we're drunk we're feeling it and it's you know it's time to go so we'll get into it hook up you know doing the thing i'll leave your imagination to run wild but i will say this her inner like sex column writer freak really truly came out she wasn't lions she's definitely in tune with her body so we do that and we just pass the fuck out now here's where it gets a little Seinfeld I guess I passed I pa like you know I just passed out but I passed out laying face down, like face first, face down in her bed. And due to my excessive drunkness, I just, my mouth was wide open all night, passed out. So clearly any saliva or drool was drooling onto the bed for like six, seven hours. I wake up face down in a puddle of my own drool. I'm talking like, like a kiddie pool. Like I could definitely bathe in this on a hot day in the summer when I have no AC and no real pool and I have to go buy a kiddie pool and fill it up. Like I'm talking kiddie pool drool. Okay. So I look over, she's still dead ass asleep. I got to stop eating for this just cause it's that serious. She's dead ass asleep. And I'm like, okay, okay, okay. Problem solving. I feel like the guy from 127 hours where you like, he has to cut off his own arm and you're just like in that predicament where you're like, how do I save myself from this? potential like huge embarrassment like no girl and this is a girl that i'm feeling too right like i want to definitely do more shit with her i maybe want to date her like i'm like into this girl so i'm like she can't know i'm a droolosaurus you know so i i'm like thinking i'm like i'm okay wet needs to be dry how do i achieve this i'm like lighter i have a lighter in my pants where the fuck are my pants so now i'm like because I don't want to the bed is very screechy like like I said not a good bed and I can't wake her I can't risk waking her up so I'm like just <clears throat> pants pants please pants please please where are you lo and behold I got a pants so pull my pants slowly up the side of the bed just digging in the pocket <laughs> Big, big lighter. What's up, homie? Like, you got me? All right. So, next move is like, okay, how do I dry this? So, I like, I flip, I'm like, and I'm just like, because she's like flicking and twitching. And I'm just like, I get it lit, and I'm like trying to do it, and it's like not really working. I'm like, I'm going to burn this chick's bed sheets right off. Like, I mean, she's going to wake up in, a, in fire. So I'm like, okay, okay, wait, wait, wait. I gotta rethink this. This is a better strategy. So I'm like, you know what? Okay, I'll do it from like the bottom side. <laughs> so I pull the corner of the sheet up. So it's like the drool mark is like elevated and like half, like I can like almost see through it when I light the lighter. And I'm just washing her. Luckily, she's really passed out. Get it sparked. And then I'm holding it at a distance and I'm just swirling and drying and swirling and praying for it to dry slowly but surely it just starts drying up and the drool stain starts dissipating right 
to the point where it's back to like normal and all you can see is this little water ring like nothing that you would ever notice right away so i flip the corner of the uh the uh sheet back on the mattress and i'm just laying there like yes yes i get to keep my arm like i've escaped i have escaped without losing my arm in this battle like you know like just so happy so i get out of it unscathed now the story's not quite over yet from here it goes a little more downhill for me but so because me and my buddy had that um from work had that you know camaraderie or whatever of of knowing what's up with each other like in these girls um a day goes by like so it's saturday night i ended up working and he had the night off but i could tell that they were vibing too and uh i was texting her that night like saturday which is a mistake i shouldn't even have talked to her i should have just like let it ride never get too thirsty especially after a hookup like that a little amateur hour on my part but you know what i was like smitten by this girl i couldn't help it I was like so it was just one of those times I just was smitten and um, so she's like she's going cold on me on Saturday night for sure I can tell she's like off doing something with somebody right but I have suspicions it's him I have suspicions that th they're hanging out now it's his turn so Sunday comes we both me and him end up working together and I'm like yo I gotta talk to you man and he's like alright so we go out for a smoke I'm like as per our bro code I'm like I've been feeling hurt I can't say her name so I just don't want to risk it or whatever if they watch this video but I've been feeling so and so and I feel like you probably are too and he's like yeah man I'm like super into her like I'm like me too I'm like for full disclosure I don't know what's going on with you guys or what you've done yet if you've hung out but I'm like on Friday I took her out we hit it like I'm like I'm in there and he's like what no no man no and I'm like what and he's like I hit it last night and I was like shit <laughs> so we're both we're cool though like we're both standing there smoking he's like really he's like fuck he's like so we're Eskimo brothers now and I'm like guess so and then I'm like I'm super feeling her but like at this point clearly she's got interest in both and it's like she's gonna pick who she's gonna pick and then one of us is gonna have to suck it up and he's like all right we'll see we'll see what happens and unfortunately for me she 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 went cold she went for him instead they ended up like hooking up for another like couple weeks two weeks or so i feel like and then she eventually quit the job i think because it was just like too like she just felt like i don't know the work hoe or something maybe but uh yeah she ended up quitting and uh then then they stopped hooking up eventually too but During the time of them hooking up, I was like, just like, I wasn't mad at him at all. This is not his fault. Like, it was just, he was the choice of the two. So it's like, that's life sometimes. That just happens. But this girl had like a little hold on my heart, like real quick. I was super into her. And I wish that I was the one who got picked, but I didn't. Yeah, at the end of the day, still got the ultimate prize out of it anyway so like can't complain but it does suck though when you're actually feeling somebody like you want to do more than just bang them and then there's like a situation where they don't choose you kind of hurts but life goes on playing fish in the sea uh that being said no fish for me right now fish are too complicated 
and too time consuming. I have other important stuff to do in my life. And right now I got no time for fish. Really got no time for, for fish. I got one, I got time for one more bite of beef. And then I'm going to retire to my chambers. And put this meal on hold. Okay, last one. The final beef down. So, that one felt pretty good. Back on my ship. But, yeah. I love that story and I hate that story because it, it was dope for me, but at the same time it kind of hurt. <laughs> but, what else? Till the next one. You know what you got to do. You got to eat good. You got to live well. You got to stay true. Peace.